Shalom, greetings to all and all. This is Wendell Malonso of the Lion of Judah Society. All praise, all thanks, all glory be to Jah Rastafari, manifested to us as our Edu Sabat Tachin, our Holy Father, in the person of Germak Edamak Khersalasi, His Imperial Majesty, the First Power of the Trinity, in and through. <clears throat> Jesus Christus, Yehosh, Yeshua, excuse me, HaMashiach, so, Bein Ha Elohim Hayim, Son of the Living God. Uh, Alright, so we don't get this opportunity very often because um the necessity to minister in Spanish and stuff like that, so it's an honor, it's a privilege uh, to get the, to get a chance to do this. Uh, we'd actually like to do it more often, but the but what is got to be has got to be so all right so we uploaded this chart to rastafarigroundation.com now it's needful that we go into the chart at least very briefly so that there's a worst case scenario basic understanding a, a basic standing on what the chart even represents now all right uh <laughs> where to begin so, we're probably going to start in um, where it says Zebulon. Now, consider this. These charts can be represented um, in different shapes and forms. We chose this format because it's, um, it's more simple to explain and for certain other reasons but you know if you happen to see uh, this chart inverted 90 degrees to the left or to the right or 180 degrees it really doesn't matter what what what's important is to know the the coordinates which will establish uh, a point of reference that's to say east west north and south in this case we don't really need that because um of you know the the knowledge that the that the gates to the tabernacle are set at the east and thus we have um, a point of reference and and this is actually something to consider because everything must be cross-referenced in the living cross it you know in wisdom in its perfect application in relation to the circumstance so all things are different at all times we must consider the heaven above the earth below the future ahead the present now the past what I thought what I've been told what I've heard what I've seen what I've known all these things to make the best most complete and perfected decision as to how to go forward to acting in such a way in which you demonstrate a perfect relationship with that which is eternal eternal is outside of time that therefore it must be perfect withheld and sustained in and of itself thus you know I've mentioned this I don't I don't see how it it um it contradicts what the Bible teaches us but still I've found not one that that can receive it wisdom I wouldn't say it's this or it's that maybe it's applied or it's used in a feminine um, connotation or in a, in a feminine context for example oh she's a beauty and I'm talking about a car it doesn't really make the car this or that it's only the way in which ones have chose to to describe that which you are referring to so wisdom I would say personally it is a relationship because it was there in the beginning if in the beginning all is always it is eternal outside of time that means it is self-sustaining self-sufficient complete and perfect within itself thus it must have not necessarily a, a feminine masculine identity which no doubt they they play their part in forming that which is to be but the the truth of wisdom I would say is the right relationship that all is uh, that all is coming together with um, bearing fruitfulness 
thus testifying to the fact that it is in accordance in right relationship right standing with itself and its surrounding not affecting anything maintaining everything perfect and pure so you know um, I'm not gonna go into details as far as that but you know this is um to it's something that ones must consider concerning like these charts and stuff like that now I kind of lost <laughs> track why I went off into that but it has to do with um the wisdom the right application the right relationship the theory of relativity that's where I was going to everything has to be relative to for example if this chart is upside down it doesn't matter because then you just have to um, uh, find the theos or the God within in its right relationship applying wisdom so that nothing is harmed and all can be received in its right application right sense right form in its perfection in its in its reality in its truth in its fullness without compromising or affecting uh, a disbalance a not balance in that which is maintaining it perfect holy and eternal and that's what I was trying to get to so back to the chart or forward to the chart so we have the gates that lead to the tabernacle thus we have a reference point and we can relate rightly to what this is and give us direction as to how to go about proceeding and if we are to be overcome by the circumstance then we must inherit the the knowledge and the teaching the lesson learned from that prior experience that we can go forward and progress into a into a different outcome once ones are confronted in any kind of circumstance applying or making our wills obedient to the good influences and not being overcome by the circumstance once more but learning from the prior knowledge that we may be destined to election overcoming that we may mature into inheritance or adoption and thus um let's see Ina is going way off track kind of but um, the only mistake or the only error is when one decides not to correct it, thus demonstrating oneself um, not in accordance with that which is. It's to say not possessing, not being crowned in wisdom to how to go about overcoming the circumstance and moving ahead in such a way. Now, all this kind of has to do with the chart somehow. So, you know, Aina is going to go forward. Another thing we have to make mention concerning these things. The pictures are a testimony within themselves because they don't necessarily... Some reflect the date and time when things happened. Some reflect a certain pattern that's maintained in the position of the image. Some are ones could uh, pretend or assume that they're not applicable or they're not properly positioned concerning the modern uh, way of, of seeing things or the change that has come about but you see that's why th this whole right relationship is necessary because all things are eternal and all things apply to all things at all times and Jai has decided to reveal himself in different forms, forms shapes, uh, similarities, parables. I mean, his his expression through creativity is never ending. Thus, nothing can ever just be fixed to a single signification. For all things are eternal, applying to all things at all times in every circumstance situation and in every way shape or form all things created by one one being reflected as a fingerprint of all that which is now if we can't receive it is because we have not obtained the knowledge to see any kind of logos or study of 
in that which we are looking at. But for sure, created by one, one is of all things expressed and manifested the fingerprint of his sovereignty over all things. What we're trying to say, basically, is that this is a heavenly chart. But all of this is eternal. And the heavens and the earth shall pass away, but his word shall not pass away. So these things can be can be moved around in in an endless uh, in endless ways and it doesn't compromise its truth but it testifies to the fact that times change things happen and so we must always adapt to to the right relationship in context of the circumstance position the time the date you know, and we could expound on this, but it is at this point, it's not really our uh, goal in mind. So going forward to the chart, I'll give one example. Uh, there, uh, let's see, it says, it says Don. Where it says Don, we see Adam and Eve. It's supposed to more precisely represent the serpent. Uh, Don is to judge his people. He's supposed to be that serpent along the way that bites the heel of the horse, creating the rider of the horse to fall backward. This is autumn. This is fall. It's no coincidence. This is the fall of humanity, just like it is the fall in the heavens. So it is on earth. And what I want to what, what I want to express with this is that. Even though Don is a perfect uh, description and representation of this celestial house, this tribe in the heavens as on earth, New Testament, we could say um, Judas Iscariot is in the place of Don. And it's, it's not compromising that which is in right relationship with truth. It's still wisdom. But heavens and earth shall pass. But my word shall not. So we got to maintain this theory of relativity in all things. And cross reference to the exact living moment in which we find ourselves. Which is the key to all things here. Where we are now. If it was 2000 years ago. I would be looking at things a little bit different. But now. it's See our God is not the God of yesterday. Not the God of tomorrow. Not the God that's coming, oh, he's coming, look for him, wait, he's almost here, it's any time now. No, he's a time of ever living, ever present, never failing, never lacking. So now, this very moment, if you would hear the word sustained by the power of his word, all things created through him that created all things. For without him, nothing that was created can be created for. Nothing is fulfilled until that is manifested in its fulfillment. And even that which is fulfilled cannot be regarded as such until that which uh, judges the fulfillment good, righteous, and correct. He himself fulfills all things and sustains all things that were created before they were created until they were created, you know, not to get into the whole thing. Let's see how much time we got. I think this is, it's actually fun, I not? And I like, um, you know, the fact that we taking a, just a few minutes to, to go forward and speak to the family in a different communication is to say English. So, okay. So, without, you know, that could be kind of serve like we hope, I and I hope that's kind of like a good basis to of some of the things that we got to consider. But everything is exact and, and it's why I and I is, is about to like explain a little bit and why I and I chose what we chose and partially is because we really don't want or care excuse I and I not want but I and I don't care for taking uh, endless time and doing something which is simple and it really makes no difference because it could be interpreted in any way the the key is to maintain wisdom in its right relationship that all things apply and not compromise the fullness and purity and wholeness of that which is yes was crystals was found able because he was the one the only one that could penetrate the female without damaging her 
so thus a virgin birth he found the way he found the right relationship as to go about inhabiting the habitation without damaging that which he inhabited a right relationship so I say once again fem, uh, wisdom I strongly suggest that it may be used in a feminine form but it is neither feminine nor masculine but rather it is the right relationship that maintains both in accordance and agreement in good standing to go forward in a in a perfect in a in a sensual and a sexual coming together dance to the same tune in this 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 um this art show this music display this dance this theater of um of duality in perfect unity all things in not one thing and one thing in all things nothing but at the same time all things coming together so going forward we're gonna start where it says Zebulun actually where it says might as well start with Judah so Judah okay this is um this begins the tribes of the East this begins the uh, the East these are, you know, the, the tribes camping outside of the tabernacle. And Judah, you know, um, I'm not going to go into months and dates. It really don't matter. Uh, you know, but, and even even at one point in time, you could see the constellation of what they call Leo falsely. In, and probably still today, but like I said, everything's, it, it's, um, it's relative to your position. But, um, you know, at one point in time, Judah was uh, triumphant in this in this um, angle of the skies of the heavens and I think it still is but the significance here is that Judah represents the Sun in its full potential in its uh, where it shines the brightest as a matter of fact you can't even excuse I you can't even see the constellation of Judah because the Sun shines bright before him and what you have is Judah coming together with with what is Zebulon which is uh, Virgo once would say falsely but the virgin now something about this is significant and very needful to keep in mind everybody talks about the virgin but they forget to make mention that the virgin was found with child so being a virgin she was found with child so there's a birth in this area and that's something that people neglect to include. Now Judah becomes, kisses the virgin, we could say. But there's something curious that, that, that we want to make mention. And it has to do with the fact that we did a circle around the gates, which it looks like, um, like angels sustaining like the oxum obelisk, which can, in, in all sincerity, be a penis circumcised or it could be the sun at its horizon and you know and it's the the altar of of um the burnt alt uh, yeah the altar of fire and stuff like that you know excuse i haven't you know like uh i'm not trying to go into like exact um scripture and stuff like that it's it's all symbolical we know these things you know excuse i for not being prepared to to quote these things you know uh word by word but still then we have the the altar the next altar which is of water which is the moon then we have the inhabited earth or the tabernacle that brings forth that child or Ethiopia or you know it, it, it's always changing but the wisdom remains the same now the reason there's a circle uh, within that circle is because we find very significant that Levi isn't really allotted a space in the heavens, but still they camp around the tabernacle. They minister to the tabernacle. But there's something curious that happens during these two, this uniting of Judah with um, Zebulon, which is, um, which is uh, I forgot what the name is, but in the Ethiopic, uh, Ethiopian calendar, it's it's a month it's the 13th month that only that only has a few days and that kind of 
to us it's it's kind of like there's something there we don't know we're not prepared to explain exactly what it is we don't care to explain what it is but the fact that there's something there is what we decided to make manifest in the art that way at least it's out there in the consciousness that there's a possibility in the beginning there is darkness and you know in the beginning um Jah created the heavens and the earth so the trinity is present is actually a good way to say in the beginning god created heaven and earth with it through faith all things were created at this moment there's no light even when Jah created the light there's no light this is all darkness still there's no exterior light but there's a recognition of the self to be i am i live i'm something i can recognize myself and distinguish from from the darkness because i am light it doesn't matter if i could actually see a, di uh, a distinction between uh me in the dark and and the darkness around but still i can recognize because it's all consciousness so this is this in in one of the many ways to receive it is just the fact that in the beginning Jah created the possibility the potential the ability so it's what we're putting out the fact that there's something there and we open the door to the possibility because that in fact is exactly what we see it to be a door because before Judah goes into Zebulon Levi something has to happen there is that small space and time that we find in these times of the year you see we have we have Levi that small space it's not to say that they have a space in the outer sphere in the heavens but in the inner but there has to be a small opening for example Noah's Ark a window that ones could come in through a door a, a narrow door a portal a space and time in which the energies are right for ones to come into a certain whatever it is that ones are prepared to fulfill at that time it's all process so we're all we're all being fulfilled in different uh, times at in different ways to different levels but still the wisdom is maintained in its purity holding in its wholeness so we have uh, the ark going into the womb maybe the impregnation going into the gates going into not necessarily the tabernacle on earth but maybe not even the one in heaven but the one caught up in the airs in in the heart or in the in the heavenly Zion but not in in the heavens in the skies still not on earth but we dwell on earth so the wisdom is upheld and sustained through the power of the word in I and I so we see the art coming in how can that art come in unless it was open to a possibility of obtaining it the only time that you could go into the 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 um the holy of holies is once a year in a certain particular time throughout the year and it may not align exactly with what is represented in the in the chart because you know from a he uh jewish uh perspective the day of atonement at one minute it is further further um down but still like we said this is just opening the door of possibilities to something that is you must become pregnant in order to you know so there's an opening or at least an, an exiting and that's what that levi represents a coming in and if you notice it's a coming out as well and it's the beginning it's the the coming into the new beginning and we come from darkness so you exit see the tabernacle opens her legs and her legs you know they they represent the womb and ones come out from that womb come from the darkness and we fall but first a seed must be impregnated so the sun impregnates maybe the darkness or the moon even i mean and this is just speculating this is just like um uh, just guessing but it's way it's it's only expressing ideas that we can utilize them to to open other possibilities to get it right and exact and so the sun impregnates the moon with light and thus she bears fruit in that sense yes it is it is right and correct it doesn't have to mean what the world uh wants us to only pretend that it, it could only mean 
and so the the semen whatever the 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 electrical charge goes into the magnetism which is the female earthly um sense and it impregnates it and now it if it's maintained in the right relationship then then it is upheld in wisdom thus it bears fruit and now this whole impregnating it doesn't have to be with through sexual relationship relations but in the spirit see this whole thing about people not wanting to receive that the virgin birth is a very a, a natural possibility and it's not as complicated as people want to pretend it to be um, I would say this what came first you know how they say the chicken or, or, or the egg well man or the seed the seed or man man or woman woman or man it don't matter it's the fruitfulness that 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 the right relationship bears so this whole virgin birth is very simple to receive because at one point in time that is the initiation of all which is and it can't be any other way so it's nothing out of this world it's very much tewahedo or in perfect union fused to all that is this world now Having had dwelled on that, uh, going forward, Zebulon is in the seas, ships, tabernacles, um, going down to the scales, which is Issachar, which is um, going down into Egypt, really, into darkness, into the wilderness, on the donkey, carrying the burden, you know, and, and finding, uh, being caught between two burdens and, and a perfect balance, finding rest, finding shalom. You know, and so we go over to, to Don, which is that serpent which bites the rider of that horse and falls, the fall of man. And we have God. God represents the, the troops which um, was overcome, but then he overcomes. And so he's that rider that, that slays uh, that that um serpent that, you know, I mean... We're just we shouldn't even go into like details and stuff like that. But going forward, Manasseh, forgetful one, darkness, and so we have His Majesty represented in in exile in Bath, England, when he was forgotten. The world could never even dreamed or imagined that the sun would once more rise. As a matter of fact, Ras Abeba Aragai, he actually says, and I and I translated that video into Spanish so I know exactly what it says I play I, I played it over and over it says I never thought I'd see the Sun of your face again the illumination the enlightenment the the, the glare the splendor of your face so in Manasseh a forgetful one darkness December 25th the Sun doesn't move it's it's forgotten it's it's it stays below the celestial equator below the you know the it's the farthest from the celestial equator and and it actually doesn't i think it doesn't move for like three days until it begins to resurrect to ascend once more but it is so it's forgotten for like three days and in december 25th you have what is the longest period of of night in the whole year in the whole day so it's a period of darkness more darkness than light and you go forward to ben yamin son of my right hand son of my sorrows when he was born someone died so but still it's um the waters this this one's kind of like okay I, I i know one of the prophecies in in genesis chapter 49 says something the effect of wolves uh i think benjamin carry like like Aquarius kind of type deal I mean I'm, I'm not too sure how to how to explain that right now Bain ya mean son of my right hand son of my sorrows you know I think his mom said something that he is Bain Ami Bain well anyways um it don't matter <laughs> I mean if if ones have corrections to make go forward now the cross is bearing forth that water and it's that rock it so it all right going forward so then we have the washing of the feet we have naphtali 
which is a hind's feet. And actually, the head starts in Asher, in, in Ra'is, in Aris, in the air, in the head. And actually, there's supposed to be a man bent in a circle. So the feet, the hind's feet, end in Naphtali, right before the sun in its path uh, crosses the celestial equator and begins to ascend or spring into life, into resurrection, after being three days in Manasseh, Benjamin, and Naphtali in darkness. So so you have the washing of the feet and this is around the time of that of the of the you have the water in Benjamin, this is the, the cleansing. And and what does the cleansing do through water? It makes you uh receive a clear and clean conscience as to the sin of the which we have uh came from, having fallen and died now being washed and being pulled up in the spirit springing electrically charging onto fruitfulness so we have asher which is i think it has to do with straight up or going forward rect rectitude um uh, thou shalt be like a royal thou shalt be royal deities or something to that effect but it's the it's the Passover. It's passing over. The sun begins to spring. It begins to stuff begins to to grow. You start seeing green life, mating, you know, sex, whatever you want to, however you want to express it. Now, then we have Simeon. Simeon is represented by His Majesty um, on the speaker. Why? Because the bocina, the the speaker, because he's speaking. Because Simeon is like Sima, like listen. Thus, he is speaking because he is to be heard shima shima shama so it's it's what ones would say the throat chakra or taurus whatever the the throat the being heard if simeon is like to listen that means someone's being heard so the voice and then we have uh his majesty on top of the bombs because uh, roughly around that area you have uh the date may 5th you know and so we decided to include that there uh, going forward you have Yosef and Ephraim doubly fruitful Jah has added you have the hands you have the two lungs you have the two hands you have you know you have this duality and you have the increase of of the growth of spring now you go forward the Sun ascends up into trying to take the the bed of Judah or time trying to take the bed of Jacob Yaakov or Israel which is Reuben and Reuben is his first his his highest his um his um first bore unstable as water uh, something to that effect but anyways even though it is higher up it would we would um we would assume and suppose wrongly that Roben, the sun in Roben, is higher than Judah, but really the angle is what makes all the difference, the ecliptic. And so thus, you cannot take the bed from the king of kings, for he is to reign over all of this. The scepter, the scepter shall not depart from between his legs and stuff like that. So, the rod... The penis even so it goes back to the impregnation and stuff like that I mean it is what it is <clears throat> but anyways Ruben so we have the 666 the Volkswagen we have um the the crab what people would say the crab constellation or the what do you call it the the, the scarab scarab beetle the transformation and and all that now going forward um uh Judah so yeah this is kind of just like a brief um yeah this is what it is so we give thanks to all uh you know shalom